Hi guys, this is Charlie from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I will discuss the differences between TQQQ and QQQ. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their performance. Generally, TQQQ outperforms QQQ with more than half its returns. Annualized returns of the two ETFs over the past decade hold this performance relation with TQQQ presenting a return of 36.36%, whereas QQQ counterpart displayed an average annual return of 18.14%. This performance correlation suggests that equal investments in either ETFs over the same period will yield more returns in TQQQ than in QQQ. Therefore, TQQQ has more returns than its QQQ counterpart. Risk Adjusted Metrics these are performances that correlate an investment's returns with its risks. Sharpe ratios are a perfect example of risk-adjusted metrics. Currently, TQQQ displays a Sharpe ratio of about 3.46, whereas its QQQ counterpart displays a relatively lower Sharpe ratio of about 2.99. Therefore, more risks are experienced with investing in TQQQ than in QQQ. In this category, QQQ wins as it has lower risk levels. Volatility Simply put, an ETF's volatility shows its price fluctuations with time. TQQQ presents with higher volatilities than those of QQQ. In fact, TQQQ's volatility triples that of QQQ in most instances. For example, TQQQ's volatility stood at 11.64%, while QQQ's was at 3.9%, on January 3rd. On February 4th, TQQQ had a volatility of 13.04%, while QQQ had a 4.4% volatility. Therefore, TQQQ fluctuates more significantly, hence more risks. But do they have similarities? Yes, both TQQQ and QQQ are ETFs that can be traded on stock exchanges at any given time. Also, both TQQQ and QQQ track the performance of the NASDAQ 100 index. This explains the strong correlation in their price movements. Lastly, both ETFs are passive. They are not actively managed. They just aim to replicate their underlying index as closely as possible. To sum up, which is better, TQQQ or QQQ? Having invested in both ETFs over the past years, I will always go for TQQQ over QQQ due to their performance differences. However, the preference of either ETF over the other is subject to the investor. Individuals seeking to have huge returns, regardless of how huge the risks are, will go for TQQQ, whereas risk-aware investors will prefer QQQ. Thanks for watching.